Welcome to this video tutorial on the topic of Connect Software 5. In this video, we will demonstrate how to proceed with the new Full Arch Scan Mode in combination with the Omnicam. We have created our case in the administration phase as usual. The Full Arch Scan Mode ensures a high level of precision for Full Arch Scans with the Omnicam and is very easy to learn. This makes it especially suitable for long span jobs, orthodontic indications such as aligners, or Simplant Surgical Guides. Our case covers different types of restorations in two quadrants. By tapping Next, we get to the Acquisition phase. In the Acquisition phase, the Standard Scan Mode is always selected by default. Applying the Full Arch Scan Mode is optional. The activation takes place via a button in the Camera View window. The Full Arch Scan Mode is now enabled. If you have already scanned image catalogs in Full Arch Scan Mode and want to switch back to Standard Scan Mode, you can simply delete the data from the existing image catalogs and then change the Scan Mode. The Connect software marks the image catalog of the jaw you should start with in blue. All displayed image catalogs need to be scanned before you can switch to the next phase. This is indicated by a question mark and an asterisk. Once you remove the Omnicam from its holder, the preview of the first scan sequence will be displayed. Additionally, the Step menu identifies the scan you are to perform, Scan Lingual Right. We will show you a short video to illustrate this process. Keep the scanner head on the occlusal surface of the end tooth for three seconds to mark the starting point. Then move the camera in lingual direction to proceed with the scan as indicated by the arrow. When you reach the end position at the center line, hold the camera again for three seconds to determine the end point of the partial scan. After that, the Connect software displays the preview of the next scan sequence, Occlusal Right. We will watch a short video sequence about this too. We guide the Serec Omnicam with wave-like motions over the occlusal surface up to the end point. During the third scan, we scan Vestibular Right. We begin on the occlusal surface of the end tooth and then move in vestibular direction. A slight wave-like motion helps fully scanning interproximal areas. The transversal scan concludes the quadrant scan. To do this, guide the scanner head to the indicated position and scan above the row of teeth from lingual to vestibular. Since the scan of the right quadrant is identical, we will look at the full scanned lower jaw next. At this point, you have the opportunity to check the lower jaw and complete it if necessary. Completing the scan improves the model quality. It could involve important areas, such as proximal surfaces or preparation margins of a restoration. We omit complementary scans and switch to the next image catalog, the upper jaw image catalog. The scan procedure of the upper jaw is the same as for the lower jaw scan. For each quadrant, the software displays step-by-step -step instructions on how to perform the scan. Therefore, we will skip a detailed presentation here, and next you will see the complete scanned upper jaw. Finally, we switch to the last, the buccal image catalog. The patient is now performing the terminal occlusion. Guide the scanner head to the indicated position in the upper jaw and scan towards the lower jaw up to the end point. When a green check mark is displayed, the scan was successful. Since these are full arch scans, you will perform a buccal scan on the left side in the same image catalog as well. Here it is important for the patient to maintain the same unchanged bite position between the two buccal scans. 
The sequence is the same as before, and the successful completion is indicated by the green check mark. Thank you very much for your attention. We would like to wish you every success when working with the Connect software.